The classic consoles. We have the NES Classic, we have the SNES Classic, we got the PlayStation Classic coming, and I am sure there's gonna be a ton more made, even maybe too many, and I feel like it might get a little oversaturated and overdone. But with that said, as a hardcore dedicated retro gamer, what are the consoles if, say we could only get three more classics made? That was it, we're gonna tap out at that. Which three classics do we wanna see come to the systems we love? Let's see what consoles deserve the mini treatment. Sega Master System. Just recently, my love for the Sega Master System has started to spiral out of control. I don't even know how this happened. One day I was just sitting around thinking about retro games, as I often do, and all of a sudden my heart started exploding with memories and nostalgia of me playing the Sega Master System when I was a kid. having a heart attack. I always played this console the way we like to imagine it back in the days, sitting on the floor way too close to the TV, but it was perfect. As I'm diving back into collecting for the Sega Master System, I am realizing how hard it is to get these games out in the wild. You'll find yourself hard pressed to see a game lying around at a swap meet just sitting there waiting to get a good deal. Sure, retro retailers carry them, but you aren't going to come to my area, hit up a swap meet, and find them sitting there nearly as much as you will most other retro consoles. Oh, and for each console that I pick to get the mini treatment, I want to give you guys at least five games that I think really need to make it to the system. So here's my five for the Sega Master System. Fantasy Star, Rastan, any Alex Kidd game, Shinobi, and Space Harrier. Turbo Graphics 16. For me, I like to call the TG16 the Friends console. And what I mean by that is, well, it's one of those consoles I never owned. I had to go to a friend's house to play it. I was never graced with one in my very own home. It was not until later in my life did I get my soft hands on the console. Something really interesting about this as well is that this console feels like home when I play this console. And that doesn't really make sense because it doesn't have that home sweet home feeling because I never owned one in my house. I thought I was above the TurboGrafx-16. I remember being a kid sitting back looking at the commercials and laughing for the TurboGrafx thinking it was so lame. What's available now and sneak previews of what's coming. These commercials are stupid and make no sense. Nintendo's biggest game ever. He's a big boy. He can handle it. Well, let's see how he did. Ship it. Super Metroid. It's good. That's, that's good. The TurboGrafx-16 needs more love and attention, but the console is also very difficult to collect for. In this day and age, there's not nearly enough love going around for this console. I would love to see it be done justice. This console doesn't deserve just to be played on emulation. It needs the mini treatment. I want something I can play with pride in my late 20s. Late 20s. Really? Whatever. Early 30s. Here are the five must-have games I would want. Keith Courage, Ninja Spirit, Blazing Lasers, Bonk's Adventure, and Magical Chase. Dreamcast. The very first console Ricky and I ever played together. It's where our friendship blossomed. I know, romantic. The Sega Dreamcast was Sega's final hurrah, and we all know what happened there. But man, the Sega Dreamcast has become the hidden gem of all gems. 
We all look back on this console now and are like, really? We didn't show more love and support for this console during the time it was released? This is also how I feel about the Wii U. Just saying. My god, chill out! Many consoles do specific type of games really well, but I can say the Sega Dreamcast does a lot of different types of games and different types of genres extremely well. Some of my favorites being shooters and fighting games. This console is not entirely too hard to collect for, but as far as finding games go, being a disc-based console can always hinder your find when you open up a jewel case only to find a scratched up, underloved game. I have so much nostalgia for the Sega Dreamcast as far as building friendships go, which is really important, especially for a retro person. But even better, I am not blinded by nostalgia only. The Sega Dreamcast is backed up by some amazing gaming experiences. And with that said, here's the five games I would want to see come to the Sega Dreamcast Classic. Ooh, the Dreamcast Classic. That sounds amazing. Shenmue, Power Stone, Cannon Spike, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and I can't believe I'm saying this. NFL 2K1. Is LeBron James still the goalie for the 49ers? How about you? Do you think the classics are going to become overdone at this point or do you want to see many more and as many as possible? Or to stay on board with this video, if you could only pick three, let me know your three. I had to dive into this classic talk somewhere sometime in this channel. I never have talked about the classics at all. Now that we're doing NES Pursuits bi-weekly, I have time to talk about some other current relevant things that definitely won't get the same amount of views as the NES Pursuit, but that's okay because I love you guys and retro is really important to me. Thanks you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Adios amigos. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still standing.